If we lose a sense of our American history, we'll lose what it is that unites us as one people. In 2020, the claim that America is infected with systemic anti-Black racism is a lie. This is not MLK's hopeful message of racial reconciliation. It's a dark indictment of America, and we should reject it. It's actually true that today we don't do a good job of teaching our history to our own students, to our own children. King, in his I Have a Dream speech, was trying to explain what he meant when black Americans were calling for civil rights. They were not calling for black rights. They were calling for what they were owed as citizens. America had slavery, and America had Jim Crow. And while it is undeniable that we have betrayed and fallen short of our ideals at times, this remains an extraordinary nation with a great past, and history should do justice to that in the way that it's taught to the future generations. And dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. People in the United States took seriously the effort to implement what Jefferson said in the Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal. The principle emphasizes a common humanity. Under the skin, we're all as moral beings equal. Civil rights properly understood lays the ground for human flourishing. And America is distinguished because its central idea, the whole purpose of the government, is to secure our rights. As one nation with liberty and justice for all. Our achievements are grounded in the principles of our nation's founding. This country was a product of debate, a product of discussion, a product of deliberation, and a deliberation that ultimately produced the freest country that the world has ever seen. I'm Lucas Morrell. I'm Paul Marino. I'm David Azarad. I'm Kevin Poulos. This is our course on civil rights. Let's begin. <laughs>